This ain't a million man march. I'm just a frustrated American with a heavy heart. Gassed up like Chevy trucks and very charged. Cause by large, the land of regard went to the dogs. I need to get it back, so I'm a mob to the command center and holler at Sarge. Let him know this life is getting too damn hard. And if he can't stop it all together, at least push pause. And pause for the cause, cause we all struggling to the point we don't want to see tomorrow. Can't even afford to numb it anymore. They done hiked up the price of a pint at the liquor store. Inflation recession, deflating suggestions that got me in the mind state of depression. On the way to the White House to ask the question, if charity begins at home, where's the reflection? On my way, on my way, on my way to the White House, baby. On my way, on my way. My way to the White House, baby. White House, baby. I'm Mayor Protein Moser, and here in Los Angeles, California alone, there's several different television shows which cover a wide range of topics, including politics, education, and economics. But rarely will you find a production whose sole priority is to be in correspondence with the President of the United States of America. So whether you're the President of America or a politician within another country, we here at Skid Row Journey Production aim to change the game by bringing you in-depth coverage of social issues that are taking place within the community <laughs> by bringing you compelling stories that you wouldn't normally see on your favorite broadcast. Welcome to In Correspondence with Eric. Protein motion. What up, protein? What up? Not much. Hey, what you out here doing, man? I'm out here just strolling. You know, I, I got 41 years out here. That's my comfort zone, so you know. So wait, wait, you gonna run that by me again? You got 41 years on skid row, bro? Yeah, but you know what? A lot of us ain't out here because we have to be. A lot of us have own issues, like me, I got an authority problem. I don't like taking orders from no one, so that keeps me out here. My own issues, you know? So you don't want to go up in none of the shelters, man, where you got to be in at 4, 4, 4 30 in the evening? No, nah, like you know why? I'll tell you the actual truth. The corners of the corners trucks is at these little SROs more than they're picking bodies up off these streets. Yeah. To well, me, to me, the government's trying to end homelessness by putting us in these bug infested shelters just to kill us all. Oh, yeah, oh, that's what you say? Yeah. So, for people that don't know what SRO is, that's a single room occupancy, so a lot of people don't know what that is. Yeah. So, you'd rather be out here on the streets of Skid Row than in the SRO? Yeah, because I think it's our deathbed, SRO. What's up, bro? Team, what's up, man? What's up, what's up man? What do you do? What do you do, Cordy? What's up? Yeah, you know what's up? Come on, man. Up? Oh, man, just waiting for the buzz. You know how we do it at night. We got to ride the buzz. I don't have no place to stay. I work, but I still I can't afford to stay anywhere, so I have to to ride the bus. And yeah, okay, you know what I mean. So, so what's up? You still you good? I'm you doing a documentary. So, hey, look tonight, cause it's kind of gonna be like the the last night for the bus because it's they're gonna be charging tomorrow. So, um. Well, I don't get paid to the 15th, but what I'm going to do is just still keep riding. Hopefully, they don't give me a ticket, but if they do, then what can I do? I just got to go out in the street. You know what I mean? That's a lot of us like that. There's about like 60 of us uh, or more. that ride the bus or more than no, ride no, the it's bus. It's more than that, bro. Because, about 100. Yeah, yeah about because 100 you got the green line. You got you the, the uh, yeah, and then you know what I 720, the 4, and also the 30, 30 or the 33, and then also the... There's another bus that goes And I think the 460 there. going to Disney. I don't, I don't know. If I'm not sure about that one. That one not really. Yeah, that, that might be out of existence. But um, yeah, they're yeah. riding those buses. And so tonight at 12 o'clock, so you think it's going to be cut off at 12? Because 12 o'clock will be the next day. So, you well, know. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully they don't say nothing or do nothing. But, you know, um, if they do, well, then we have to get off the bus. I mean, if we get on, we stand a chance of getting a ticket or arrested, I'm not sure how they're gonna do it, but mm -hmm. if I get a ticket, well, I just gotta tell the judge, hey, I can't afford to pay for it. Like, if I can't afford a place to stay, when we're gonna afford a place to pay a ticket, you know? 
But um, I'm gonna give it a shot, man. I mean, I'm not gonna stay out and freeze. What's your name? Say my name, say my name. That's your name? If you want it to be. So what you doing out here? I was just talking to you earlier. I don't know, Kid Rock, you know. Uh, this is Nino, you know, Dirty Down Brown South, what? Where you from? Uh, where you from? I'm from Detroit. Oh, is that Detroit, uh, Michigan? Or is that, you know, yeah. Southern Sausage Pepperidge Farm Up? Yeah, that's, that's Detroit, Michigan. So what you know about my state? I thought that was in Chicago. I bet you you from somewhere like Wisconsin. What's that mean? I don't know, cause you don't, you ain't supposed to be out here on Skid Row downtown on Fifth and Broadway. I like it. It humbles me. How, how you gonna be humble with that? Because you never know what it's like to walk a mile in someone's shoe until you've done done it. So don't judge no one. It's no, yeah, actually, and that's good that you don't judge nobody, but you don't have to be going. No, it's kind of fun, you know. And then when it comes to like trying to find the balance, where does that even work at? You know, like. So you don't want no apartment or nothing? I'd love one, but you know, like I'm not crying over spilled milk. I haven't even really done nothing to even, you know, be, you know, to help myself, really. I yeah, so do. why not? You know, with Skid Row got all these services and stuff down here. I've been having too much fun, you know, running ruck. This is fun? No, it's not fun at all. So, but you look like you having fun. Though. So what you gonna do to get back on track? You remember when you was 20 years old? What, what were you doing for, no, not even 20, when you was like 13, remember that first Barbie doll you got? Come on now. What, I didn't like Barbies. Well, what was a, the first uh, toy you got that you had liked? A Rubik's Cube. That's scary for. What's the saying? That we gotta have a house? Show it. Because if not, Trump just said to. Let me see. Brother, like that right now. Let me see the sign. That's what it said. Over what? No personal. Posted by property owner. Okay, but what are you saying? Let me nothing. see you. Oh. Let me see you. What are you saying? Nothing. I just said this one. Okay, well, let me see the sign one more time. Watch me. Do laundry too? Huh? So you guys do laundry too? Yeah, I yeah, I'm using laundry once a week. I tried to uh, keep posted. I tried to do it um at least once a week. Uh what's going on man? Nothing much here, man. Look like you young, man, and um I'm you should be young, you know, but I've been around, I've seen some things you could say. Well, why you down here on Skid Row, man? You should be at home up in Bel Air somewhere, Beverly Hills, man, a Burbank with your parents. It's a lot of silliness over there. I'm but, from uh I'm from Brooklyn originally, I'm just visiting. Oh man, I'm in for what? Best Stop, Brownsville, East New York, Fort good Green. Areas, good areas. I live near Fort Green, over by Park Slope. So you are? Uh, uh, I'm just traveling out here. I was just out. I'm just over in this area to check out that bookstore over there. So you came all the way to LA to check out the bookstore? No, I came here to see some folks, see some friends, but at the moment I came to this part of the city to check out the bookstore. So what do you think about Skid Row? I mean, it's a place, you know, it's, it seems pretty lively. Uh, seems like you guys seem like some good people. Well, it's not a place you're trying to stay, is it? Not necessarily, no. Should I stay here? Put your name on some housing lists and all that stuff, man, where you sure, get yeah. some apartment. All right? Yeah, for Peace sure. Peace out, Take man. Care, guys. Be well. All right, thank you.
Do not get out of the middle of the street. Get out of the middle of the street. You're in the middle of the street. Come on now. Don't you see cars and stuff? This car's gonna be coming. You gotta get out of the middle of the street. I care about you as a black sister. As a black sister, I want you to get out of the middle of the street. You like a <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Protein? Man, this is up? Chris out here, and um, we're out here, you know, we just came from, I don't know, um, it's been a while, I haven't been here in forever, so uh, I just decided to get down here, and now we are going to go to, probably going to go get some laundry done, because... Where you at? Uh, I'm in Lax, LA, because I came from Mass, and... Uh, Massachusetts? Not, yeah, not a lot of people knew that about uh, some people. Uh, so, so why do people come to L.A., Chris? Uh, to free themselves and uh, to better themselves, you know. I did this to, uh, I lost everything, but I also gained my happiness, so. Oh, so you happy out here? I am happy out here, the way I'm living, but I need to adjust to the living style. And I need to start uh, right. looking for that open hand, you know. Yeah, so what are your goals out here in Los Angeles? Uh, right now, I'm just looking for music, trying to like, Honestly, I'm fine with the way I'm living right now. I'm happy, very happy. I just need to figure out um, how to uh, do it without money because everything is about money. Oh, so yeah. I'm trying to not not snake my way through, but slip through with uh, the legal ways, you know? Right, and, yeah, and, yeah. and to live without and, uh, money do like it, how do it, do it back safely. in the days, right? Yeah, 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 of course. Like trading and like yeah, stuff like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's, that's I think stuff. I gave some people some like sneakers for like a sweatshirt or something and I traded that for something by accident. Yeah. Or like I lost it. I I, I got I um, I got hit by a car a few times, so yeah, I my memory's been a little jagged, so I've been wow. trying to go to like the hospital and stuff. But wow! Yeah. So you sing? You say you're trying to get off into the music industry? Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there might be somebody watching this. It could be yeah. Master P. I, I hope oh. so. I, anybody? It don't matter. Anybody? And anybody. what do you do? You sing, rap, or sing, what? rap, freestyle. I uh, I had my whole phone, uh, but I lost it. But I can write all that songs over again. I can any mm. version, whatever. I, I love all music. Um, Juicer is probably my favorite. X, mm. uh, Lil Peep. Um, Dax is up there. I got actually, it's just everybody, but like it's just this right. is the main few. Yeah. My main few was like Juice X, Trippy Ski. Yeah. Um, right. you know, just like just kind of like the vibey people right. that like I, I mean, we all vibing, but like yeah. there's that ones that just really yeah. click with me, you yeah. know. So, you know, there is a lot of people that came here to LA and didn't really have that much, and you know, they really? all yeah, I didn't they, know that. No, yeah, you, you know what, you gotta go look on YouTube. Oh, well, that's my yeah. bad. Um, so, no, you're all right. So, uh, yeah, man, I want you to go, Chris, I want, uh, yeah. I want you to go Come look on YouTube like, yeah. and go look at all the, the celebrities that were homeless that were sleeping on benches and stuff like that. Mm. And so they came out here, man, and they doing they good. Did. I'm not oh, going to yeah. even name them. I want you to go look. And maybe somebody that's watching this, they'll go yeah. look as well. So yeah, just well, to let... Well, I'm going to be in L.A., so if they ever want to hang out or do whatever, you know, I'm just, I'm just around L.A., so... Yeah. I, I don't have a phone right now, so like, if they've been calling me or whatever. Yeah. So I, speaking of that, like, yeah. you know, a lot of people come out here and they be running away yeah. from their family and stuff and that. Does your mom and your family know? Yeah, yeah. My whole family knows I'm here, but um, they were just kind of, they weren't toxic for me, but my living style was completely different. So I kind of had to yeah. move and do right. differently, uh, adapt differently and right. survive differently than them. Yeah. So they didn't understand. Yeah. So, so this is this is something yeah. personal and um and just to let you know I raised a daughter on the streets mm -hmm. for twenty years and had a twenty year crack cocaine addiction. So this mm -hmm. question that I'm about to ask you yeah, go don't ahead. take it personal. No, no personal. So do you have any substance abuse? What uh I mean I did with alcohol and a little bit of like not crazy pills but Tylenol. I was mixing that with um with alcohol and I and I stopped that. It was because of a girl. A girl didn't want me to smoke marijuana. I fucking love weed. We just mar whatever you call it around here, Mary Jane, whatever. Mm. Um, and shrooms is I. I like shrooms, but I think marijuana is probably the only thing that I'm gonna be doing. I just quit Nick probably uh, today, yesterday. I don't remember. I, I'm trying to quit that, but it, it always comes back and forth. I use it mostly as like a stress reduce yeah. more than anything else. Right. Um, so, so five years from now, yeah. where I'm gonna see Chris at? Um, 
on the billboard with that Hot 100, number one on the billboard. Uh, and um, the people in Massachusetts are going to be like, yo, that's, that's my boy. That's they they going to come to Dodger Stadium? Of course they are. Welcome aboard the Metro Eli Expo. This train's final destination is. You know, uh, you know, I just I've been out here for a year already, dude. I was really. I make twenty seven hundred dollars a month by working, and you think, oh my God, he should be on the street. He's probably on drugs. No, I'm not on drugs, but I can't afford a place. Especially when they check sometimes the backgrounds and I don't have no evictions or nothing but they charge too much money for everything and and the thing is well I can't do it if you want to wait for housing it takes so long to get housing by the time you get housing you probably be like well you know you have nothing you know they told me to lose my job and they'll try to brush me in housing that's ridiculous you should have a job and be able to go to housing right away but I guess it varies per, per person but um, for me it's just been you know, working and just staying up. I use some of the centers here for showers and so forth. If it wasn't for them, but every night I catch the bus. Mm. And there's a lot of us on the bus. Look at that, that way. We're trying to make it to a... What's going on, man? Oh, we're trying to... We're debating on if we're going to make like a little walkway for her. We should definitely keep it closed. Oh, I'm on people closed? Um, yeah, so it's, no, it's no clothes right there. A phantasmagorical spot. You should go the way around. It's just closed right there. Really like, so yeah. what are you doing out here, man? We should make a little spot for the girlies. I think it'll be like a nursery, a little spot. To Are you gonna camp out. out out here? Well, we're I'm thinking of that. We're checking on the spot. I'm you not gonna probably, step on your stuff. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have did that. We're no, I'm not gonna step that. on your stuff. But okay. why are you not at home, man? Your parents are probably looking for you, bro. Oh, I'm good. I'm out here trying to figure out with the manatees. I might go to San Diego. It's yeah, like but where are your parents at, man? They're over there. Oh, they're over there. I'm not, I'm not too worried about them. I'm yeah, no, but they're worried them. about you, bro. Mm. When the last time you called your mom? I don't know. It's been a while. I don't like using cell phones and stuff. So, so why don't you call her, man, and let her know you're doing all right? Ow. Maybe no time. Does she know where you're at? Um, I don't think so. What's your name? Um, Robin. What's your full name? Because your mom might see this and, and be looking for you. Oh, Robin. Just Robin. Robin no, Robin. there ain't no just no Robin. Robin, you got a last name. Robin what? Smith, Robin Jenkins, Robin... Something. Torres. What is it? Coffins, coffins. So so if your mom was watching this right now, what would you say to her? Would you would you would you do that you that um what, what could you say to her that she'd let you come back home or something, man? I don't wanna go back over there. I find I find You like it out I'm here? Gonna, I might visit her again, but Do you like it out here? I'm loving these guys and I'm checking in. I'm still trying to find good humans to hang out with. But it's really, really hard because of how everything is. It's a how old are you? People, how a lot of people get sometimes. How old are you? Um, old enough to know better. Right, right, man. It look like you out here in L.A., man. It look like you could be a model or an actor or something, bro. Maybe. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You're too young to be out here, man. Don't you see it's out here, man? 60, 70-year-old black males out here, bro, the majority. You understand? Yeah, I'm feeling. I think it's coming from there. Wow, you don't. You okay. don't. You don't. You shouldn't yeah. be out here, bro. I feel it. You see all this stuff that's going on? They out here cussing on the corner, man. You got people out here doing crystal meth, man. Hair around and all kind of stuff at the bus stop, man. Come on, man. You gotta get your life together, bro. Yeah. All right. And the kids. What you yeah. What you gonna do next time I see you? What's gonna be different about you? We we'll definitely know a lot more about the plot matter, and we we'll definitely have a couple more questions asked. Answer, answer. But what would you say to your mom if she was watching this? That's why that happened. Fuck no. What would you say to your mom? Mm. I love her. You, you do love your mom? Back, What's your mom's name? Okay. Man, this dude posts he think he the King of LA. Who he think he is, man? Ain't nobody heard of him. The streets ain't heard of him. I don't know who the hell he think he is. But whoever he is, man, 
I need to see who he is right now. Where's protein? Who's his protein? LA, tell me where he at. What's up? Yo, D, what's up? Oh, what up, protein? What up, what up, what up? You said you was gonna let me get you next time, bro. Wait a no, no, no. You said next time you had the YouTube ah, channel. I yeah. knew that was you. Yeah, you knew that was I me. I knew that was you. What's up? What's up? But what's now up? you, you gotta keep you, you just be on Broadway and you just don't be this brief with it. But uh, hey, but look, but I caught you though, right? Oh, uh, well, that's the thing. You should have stayed back there and let me still in my jam moment. But okay, you in your jam moment? But no, you, no, you got a camera in my face. I ain't no damn Kim Kardashian. Hey, but you about to be in a minute. Uh, well, what's up? Check me out. Um, Google got me blocked on my email, but check me out on D-H-E-A-L. That's D-Heal. D-H-E-A-L. That's, check out my videos. It's for y'all to be healing. Informational videos to uplift y'all, empower y'all to, you know, feel good. Okay, so tell me a little, okay, so we know you're doing that. So tell me a little bit about yourself. What you got going on out here? What I got going on right now is I'm trying to, you know, continue to find my way um, through God's way, the spiritual way. And I say the God way through my relationship with him. Not what's written in the textbook. Not what's been programmed to tell me how to have my relationship with him. Yeah. No disrespect. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, um, we all got to have our own personal relationship with God and our ancestors and our right. spirits. So with that being said, yes, I'm going through the struggle. But it don't feel like the struggle because I was born within the struggle, and therefore, huh? Hey, <laughs> I mean, oh. like the teddy bear on the damn teacher commercial. It's a snuggle. So, where you see yourself at five years from now? Um, still humbly blessed, graceful, still speaking my facts and my truth. Yeah. Um, a little bit more wealthy, and helping out the community because, therefore. You go through things to share your testimony. You go through yeah. things so you know who to look back on and help people out. Right. And so, so that for when I see this video, it's gonna hold me to that. <laughs> yeah, sure is, bro. Hey, but check this out. Last but not least, yes. what do you think about the homeless situation here in Los Angeles? If somebody was in another uh, country, hold on. Okay. If somebody was in another country watching this, what would you say to them about? Uh, homeless conditions here in Los Angeles. Like, if they want to move out here? No, just in general. If they came to visit or... Um, you can't give up. You can't give up. I'm not going to front the times that I want to give up, but you can't No, no, no. As far as what would they expect to see if they came... Oh, what you're going to expect to see is, um, unfortunately, I'm going to keep it real. The system is screwed up. I'm going to keep it... Uh, I'm going to keep it 100 bucks with you. The systems out here, they just want to pull you in and make money off of you. They want to get you into the shelters and play these stupid ass mind games. Fuck with you. Don't cut, don't cut. Excuse me. They want to play mind games with you. They want to sit up here and be subliminally passive aggressive to get you either to leave the shelter or have you to act out so they can kick you out. Because when you in there, they make money off of you. From what I was told, veterans, they get what? 1900 a buck? Boom. So what you think they get off of us? But at the end of the day, you gotta make it do what it do. I hear California is a whole different ball game, okay? Yeah, so your, answer, um, your answers are so good, just the last question. Do you see ahead. Los Angeles getting any better on the homeless situation? Um, boop. Yo, for real, for real, I don't follow politics like this, but the spirit just hit me with this. What's his name, Newsom? Oh. Christmas is over. Man, you in Hollywood and Vine, man. What's going on out here in LA, in Hollywood, man? As far Not as much in Hollywood. My name's Kane Gamble. They got the Killer Clowns up there and uh, all those Spider Man and Sriracha make a lot of money. But no stars in Hollywood. You should see like Elvis Presley, Jesse Arnaz, Glenn Campbell, John Wayne, you see a ball. No more stars in Hollywood. But you haven't seen any stars? Come on, man, you in it's Hollywood. Right. It's you right. haven't seen any stars out I here? I saw today, but I, I didn't know what you were. Not people like that. 
Yeah. Yeah. But have you seen any? You know, like stars that sound like Kevin Hart, uh, Denzel Washington. Come on, um, I don't even know stars' name, man. But that you know, come on, man. You had this. This is Hollywood and Vine, bro. Jesse Arnaz, Bruce Lee, that's back in the day, bro. Bruce Lee, I used to take Bruce Lee's daughter, man. You to take Bruce Lee's daughter, that was rap. And then what happened? When she got married, that was a wreck. And so you don't see her anymore? Well, she was threatened with Redman Holmes because I was dating her home, and he, she got married. So I said, no, it's a wreck, Jack. Come so on, what you doing in Hollywood? You trying to come up and make a movie or something? Man, I'm out of here in 24 hours and gone. Hollywood's dead. You know what's going on. Nothing happens in Hollywood until it's now. All right. Unless you want us all to be unemployed and then we can go to the DPSS and get $200, which I'd rather get 2700 221 or <laughs> I'd rather get 2700 because they told me I didn't qualify because I made too much money. But it's like this, you know, there's only so much, so much time that we keep doing this. I'm tired. I don't even sleep no more. It's very scary, you know, sometimes being there, even though I'm a big guy, you know, you know, fight stuff like that. Right along with us one night, Mayor, and you'll see the truth. <laughs> wow.